Okay, fellas, here's another opportunity to play with the new camcorder and test stuff out. I'm kind of patting myself on the back for this little idea. I put a slip ring in this tank. This is the Airsoft uh, barrel recoil turret that I'm putting on the S33. I put the IR slip ring in it because I needed more wires. But what I did was I've got this funny little tool for my Dremel. It looks like this and it will plunge into plastic so I went through the casing of the rotation motor case right where the screw is and I slipped a zip tie in there and that's where I hooked the back of the uh, shrink tube that's over the slip ring and I set it all in there st stuck it down with two zip ties and then I can set it up And test it. I'm not sure. We'll see how well the new video camera looks up into dark spaces. I, I use a nine volt battery for a lot of these. I, I've hooked up a, I've hooked up a couple of different uh, plugs. This is a JST two pin. It's just a you know power supply plug. You can see that bad boy going around up there. Now that's just enough so that with the gun fully elevated, it just skims across the bottom when it's when the slip ring is furthest away from the rotation motor. And that seems like it's gonna do the job pretty good. It just spins right around. Okay, bored with that yet? I think that's gonna work pretty good. So uh, we'll get the rest of her buttoned up and, and uh, get her hooked up to the ASP and see how that airsoft barrel recoil works. We'll see you next time.